So guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to compare dropshipping and SMMA. Now, if you are starting a business, this video might be very valuable for you so you can know exactly the advantage and disadvantage of both business model. So let's get right into it. Uh, I'm just going to put it in full screen. So guys, I tried both. Uh, I started with dropshipping and I'm now doing SMMA. So I started everything from scratch. I learned Facebook ads by myself. I built my own uh, e-commerce store and I wanted, to, I wanted to go into dropshipping. I wanted to learn Facebook ads to scale my store. And honestly, I quickly realized uh, how hard it is and I'm going to talk exactly why. But the reason, the main reason is that you need a big startup capital if you want to start dropshipping. Whether SMMA, you can start basically for free. And so let's compare both right now. First, as you can see with SMMA, you handle with businesses and with dropshipping is a little bit different. You will handle with customers. Okay, but let's, let's focus on SMMA first. Okay, so you handle with businesses. It's B2B. Secondly, with SMMA, you will scale progressively. It will be a steady rate. You will not have a big peak. It will just be steady, but always on the up. And SMMA is actually, as dropshipping, I think, a proven business model, and it will just be forever because look, businesses need sales and marketing, and they will need it forever because that's the, um, that's the blood of businesses. And they will always need marketing agencies to show them the way on how they can crush it online, right? So SMMA will be around forever because businesses need marketing and sales and this will never stop. Uh, with SMMA, you have a clear cash flow. And finally, at some, at some point, this is like one of the big difference between SMMA and dropshipping. With SMMA, you need a team at some point if you want to scale, not not to six figures, but if you want to scale to seven figures, now you will you will need yeah like you must have a team in place. You must have a team to outsource the work because look guys, you will not do everything by yourself. But with dropshipping, you can, and I'm going to show you the difference now with dropshipping. So let's get right into dropshipping. So with dropshipping you handle with customers. So that's one of the big difference. You, you, you are not handling with uh, businesses, but it's with customers. Uh, dropshipping, secondly, it scale very fast. It's not unusual to, uh, to make six figures in uh, three months with dropshipping. W contrary to SMMA, with dropshipping, you can scale very fast. Um, and as I said, with SMMA, it's much more progressively. Now, with dropshipping, you can have a lot of pick. It can be, it's, it's just unpredictable in my opinion. And as I said, the difference between dropshipping and SMMA is that with dropshipping, you can just be a one man, uh, just, you, you can just be alone, right? You don't, you don't need, um, eventually you can have a support staff, you know, virtual assistants that are helping you especially on the, the customer service part because you can't handle all emails, all, you know, exchange back and forth with uh, the, your clients. But you can have a team in place of virtual assistants. Now it's just VAs, right? You are handling, you can handle the business by yourself. But with SMMA, you need clearly a team in place in order to operate, especially if you want to, to get from six figures to seven figures. It's very important. I mean, you can't do everything by yourself with SMMA. With dropshipping, it's possible. Now, in my opinion, guys, uh, dropshipping is represents an unpredictable cash flow and that's what I uh, experienced a year ago. Now, why it's uh, unpredictable? Because look, um, you will have you will find winning products and some winning products will just not be winners anymore at some point. And so with dropshipping, if you are dropshipping, it's very important to have to find a lot of winners, a lot of winning pro products, even blockbusters, and also to find a lot of pro profitable ad sets. So you need to diversify like crazy if you want to drop to dropship. That's very imp uh, important. But in my opinion, it's very, very unpredictable. Um, like 
so some months you can do 5k profits uh, another month you can make 10k another month 2k i mean i don't uh, personally like how um unpredictable is it it is i don't like um how unpredictable is it but this is my <laughs> this is just my opinion like when it's uh, unpredictable like this i love smma because it's steady and it's always on the up and you have a clear control on your cash flow, which is not really the case with dropshipping. Now, uh, look, as I said, you might build a seven figure stores without having to hire anybody at all. But again, this is very volatile. And from, you know, a month to, to another, it, um, you know, you can make one month 2K, another month 7K. So it's very, very uh, volatile. Now, guys, I want to talk with you about longevity and I think it's a very important subject because look, at the end of the day, we want to build businesses that are uh, just staying here forever. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to start a business if the next year it's, uh, it's gone, right? So what I want to, to talk um, to you is a difference between longevity in SMMA and in dropshipping. And look, let's start with dropshipping. Basically, what I want you to understand is that the dropshipping, in my opinion, right, the dropshipping model is going down and look, it's still there. It's still working. Dropshipping is working, but it's it's really dying. And if you are dropshipping right now, I strongly recommend you to build a brand. You know, don't dropship forever. Uh, at some points, you, you need to build a brand. And that's, I think, the... Um, the most difficult in uh, dropshipping, like dropshipping is perfect, is a perfect business model to start something bigger, you know, to transitioning into other ventures, other bigger projects. And it's a great way to uh, accumulate cash, uh, I mean, cash very fast in order to invest it in other uh, projects. And if you are dropshipping right now, I strongly recommend you, like in, in my opinion, to focus on building a brand uh, a profitable brand that uh, will be there for years. Now, the longevity with SMMA is that, in my opinion, it's always just only on the up. It will just grow bigger and bigger. And the reason why is because businesses are realizing more and more that they need to spend on digital marketing. And, you know, they are just realizing more that they need Facebook, they need Instagram that they just need social media right and uh, a lot of businesses don't actually believe like still today don't believe in social media and still think that uh, you know billboards ads or uh, flyers will work uh, very well even radio even magazine and let's be real today it's not the case today, today social media is clearly outperforming all traditional way of marketing so yeah, you know, it's just in uh, from a longevity point, I think that dropshipping is going down. And also the reason why is Amazon. Now, guys, Amazon is <laughs> is um, <clears throat> is a subject that is uh, passionating me. And why? Because Amazon is, is getting bigger and bigger. And when let's be let's be real together is that when you need something, when you need any object, the first thing that you're going to do is check on Amazon. Why is that? Because on Amazon, first you have very low prices and also you can have just fast delivery. You know, if I order today on Amazon, I can have it tonight, which is just incredible. And I personally would not order anything that is taking more than two days to, uh, to deliver. And that's one, one of the big problem with uh, dropshipping because look, two weeks, three weeks, it's really too, too much time to wait, which is, again, it's, it's, okay, it's okay, right? But uh, when you're comparing both dropshipping versus Amazon, when you're seeing that you can have the same objects in the, the same day on Amazon, I would just go in Amazon, right? I, w I wouldn't go, I wouldn't bother to go on dropshipping to wait three weeks to even forget that I bought the product if I can go to take it like the same day on Amazon. So Amazon is growing bigger and bigger and I think that um, it's just going to be a too huge competition for dropshippers. 
So just just for this, just for Amazon, I would stay away <laughs> from drop drop shipping. But again, this is my opinion, and you need to really understand both. If I had to choose between a drop shipping business and an Amazon FBA business, I would just 100% choose Amazon FBA because there is it's just growing bigger and bigger. But now I want you to understand between if you if you're looking to start between an SMMA business and a dropshipping business or Amazon FBA business, look I, I've tried I've tried all of them. Okay, and now I'm sticking with SMMA for a long time. And uh, the thing is that if you want to start dropshipping on our Amazon FBA, you need startup capital. Okay, you need a huge startup capital in my opinion. Don't start uh, because why you need a startup capital? Because you need to invest in marketing yourself. You need to invest in Facebook advertising, in maybe influencers you know, on Instagram if you want to run traffic to your stores. So you need marketing and this is costing a lot of money, especially if you're on Facebook ads. And look, the first months that I um, did dropshipping, I just lost all my money on Facebook ads, right? And that's a little bit why I don't um, truly recommend you dropshipping if you don't have a high budget. But for SMMA, if you have, you know, zero dollars, you can start an SMMA business right away and you can scale it again progressively, but you will have a clear cash flow and you can just scale it uh, to seven figures if you have the right processes and the right team in place. So now uh, the final differences that I want to uh, talk uh, about with you is uh, the way of operating. So for SMMA, we have to talk to people, right? You will have to talk to business owners. You will have to meet them. You will have to call them to write emails. It's very complete. It's, I think it's a very, which is an asset, right? I don't say it as a con, but again, for some people, it might be a con, especially if you are an introvert. I've been an introvert for a lot of time and just doing sales, just learning sales. have been a huge advantage for me because I could just go on my own and build, uh, I mean, you know, talk to business owners, uh, sell to them, talk with them, you know. And so anyway, if you are dropshipping or doing an SMMA business, it's always worth to learn about selling about persuasion, about about even cold calling, because it will just uh, serve you for life. I think it's a must. Selling is the, one of the most important skill in this um, in this world, because look, you will always have, even even for a dropshipping business or an SMMA business, you will always have to convince people um, on your ideas, right? If you are building a team. You will have to convince people to um, to convince them to that it's worth working for you, and that's that's selling, guys. It's just uh, just just sales, right? So as I said, it's uh, really an asset in my opinion to learn about selling, and yeah, whether or not you're dropshipping, just learn about sales because it will help you very much. But the difference here between SMMA and dropshipping is that. With dropshipping, you're not handling, you know, on the phone with customers. Everything is, you, you can do everything by email, right? So you can just sit at your office all day without interacting with anybody. But with SMMA, if you want to grow your business, you will always have to talk to people. And that's what I think is the beauty of SMMA. So guys, this that's it for this video. I hope, again, I'm not against dropshipping. I think it's a great business model if you want to um to have some cash in order to invest in other ventures i don't think it's sustainable for a long-term business right uh, but i'm fully into a smma and i think smma will be here forever because businesses will always need sales and marketing and it's just smma is just a proven business it has been there for uh, you know forever so anyway i think that you i hope that you liked this video if yes Give me a thumbs up. Again, I answer all DMs on my Instagram. So if you have any questions about Facebook, about SMMA, even about dropshipping, because I've dropshipped, guys. <laughs> so yeah, just ask me anything. And yeah, again, I'm not against dropshipping. I hope that you guys can understand. I just want you to know exactly the advantage and cons of each so you can make the best decision. If I had one of those uh, videos, if I watched something like this, 
I would definitely go with SMMA, but I think I made the mistake to go with dropshipping when I didn't have the budget to even start a dropshipping store. So make sure that you have uh, the startup capital in order to invest <laughs> in your uh, business, right? Uh, but again, if you're doing an SMMA, you can start for $0. So guys, I will see you in the next video.